Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for uh, January 2024, if you can believe it. We're going to jump right in here. You have this outdated ways card. It says traditional thinking or old ways of thinking or doing business is no longer working. So it says uh, it's vital to keep in tune with your modern era to stay ahead of the curve or else you risk being left behind. You also have this love life card. It says your love life is somehow causing you to get sidetracked and off balance. So I would be careful of, um, you know, allowing love to come in between you and your goals. Or again, if you're dealing with a heartbreak, um, you know, I know it's hard, but you know, it might be time to release something that has been holding you back as far as love is concerned. Uh, it could be you releasing a past relationship really. Um, and kind of like letting it go. Uh, you have this Royal U card, which I love. <laughs> that is like a card of having a glow up or, you know, preparing for a glow up. And I definitely feel this is a really solid financial year for you. I mean, are, are you kidding? This card here says prosperity lies ahead. So, um, you know, there's clearly um, amazing opportunities for you to make money this year. Uh, as I've been saying though, Pisces, again, it's going to require you to do new different things. It's going to require you to, um, you know, face some inner conflict, which we see right here, and it's going to require you to be brave. And um, but you know, again, I, if you do those things, you will be very, very successful. Uh, but I also, kind, by the way, uh, kind of feel that the tower here could just be an aha moment. Uh, the tower can represent an aha moment, and it can represent, um, you know, it can kind of represent just a light bulb moment or something like that. So. You know, it looks to me like you could be, um, you know, going through that. You have the Three of Swords. Sorry, I'm just knocking cards all over the place here, so let me fix that. But you have the Three of Swords. Again, Three of Swords could be like a heartbreak or a past heartbreak. It is interesting because in your last row, which is the area of the good stuff, you have the Devil, the Nine of Swords, and the Five of Swords, which could be like a separation, but it's coming up in the area of the good stuff. So, you know, if anything, I feel that you're healing from toxic energy or you could be healing from the toxic vibes, you know, any anything toxic in your life. This could also be Saturn energy as well. You have Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn. You have the Devil, Capricorn. So there's like a lot of Saturn energy right there. And some of you, it could just be that um, you are kind of working with, you know, uh, Saturn and Pisces and you're putting in the work. So, you know, that makes a lot of sense to me. You have the Queen of Cups, which again, I feel you need to heal your heart so you can move towards your heart. The Queen of Cups wants you to move towards your heart, Pisces. The Queen of Cups wants you to, uh, you know, embrace the heart-based uh, directions in life, whatever that means for you. But again, to be able to, uh, be in touch with your heart, you have to have, you know, a healed heart. So this could represent like forgiveness or forgiving the past or forgiving past situations. You have the temperance card and temperance, of course, is patience, but it's also a card of alchemy. I feel like you only you have the power to turn your situation around. And the reason why Pisces really needs to turn their situation around, I would say, is because again, you're going to be an example for, you know, basically everyone on earth, you know, <laughs> mark my words, Pisces, I really believe that you are the sign that has the potential to like save the day, really. You know, especially in the tower, you have the tower here. Um, you know, basically um, this is my second set of readings that I'm doing for the day. So, um, you know, I already did the last week of December this morning and I'm, I'm coming back this afternoon to uh, to do some of these January, re January readings. And again, the tower came up a lot in those readings. You have the tower here. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if there are global tower moments and again, I think Pisces is here to save the day, but uh, you're going to be doing it through being an inspiration, which I always say to you, but you know, there you go. You have this Grand Symphony card, and, you know, it all makes sense. With the Three of Swords, you have the Ten of Wands. Yes, heart is, you know, some sort of heartbreak it could be weighing on your heart or holding you back. It doesn't even have to be love. It could just be any type of heartbreak. And I feel it's time to heal it or, you know, release it in some way. With the Queen of Cups, here you go. <laughs> you have the King of Cups. If you want love, I feel it's a really good year for love for you. There could definitely be a really solid connection coming in for you. It could be a water sign. You have like water, uh, earth, and air stand out to me here. It could be any sign, general reading. But I do love the King and Queen of Cups together because they're divine counterparts. So definitely could be a divine counterpart coming in for you. With the Temperance card, you have the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, team, I mean, definitely teamwork makes a dream work for you, Pisces. Anything you can do to work with other people, team up with other people, collaborate with other people, um, you know, any of that stuff is just gonna be super beneficial. Um, anything you can do to make sure that you're working on quality as well. Uh, for those of you focusing on money, this actually looks like a really good money reading, but there is an element of quality. You know, Three of Pentacles is a, the card of quality. The 
whole point of the Three of Pentacles is that the guy on the card has done a good job. He has, um, you know, he has done a quality job on what he has worked on. And so whatever you're working on, quality, not quantity, for sure. Uh, next in the area of what is coming towards you, or sorry, the unexpected, you have this a Grand Symphony card and this Royal U card. So there could be like a little bit of an unexpected glow up here. And you have the Nine of Pentacles, which is pre Empress energy, which, you know, she would really represent a glow up. So this could basically saying that you're getting like a taste of the good life, you know? I do feel like this month there could be something that comes through for you that really kind of, um, you know, maybe I don't really see it being some big, huge, massive you know, victory, right? But it could just be a good victory. Something, you know, comes in this month that makes you happy, that gives you a taste of something more. And again, I do, I literally do feel the universe is trying to get you to taste something. It's like the universe is trying to give you a boost in your finances so that you want more. It's almost like, but we're not talking about materialism here, Pisces. We're talking about like the universe is, I feel here, is doing something in your life to motivate you, to, you know, get you working towards something bigger and better. It's not really... You know, it's not really about materialism. And again, I think this all adds up to a much bigger story. You have that Grand Symphony card, which is a card of, you know, everything you've worked on coming together. And we see that here with the Three of Pentacles. Also, you ending with the uh, Six of Pentacles here. We'll definitely talk about that. You have the Two of Swords, Nine of Swords, and the, or sorry, Nine of Pentacles and the uh, Ace of Pentacles. Two of Swords is about uh, this or that thinking. And one thing I will say is if you are stuck in this or that thinking here, sometimes when we are stuck thinking uh, only two solutions, we can have a tower moment for sure. Um, you know, again, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Like if you're stuck and you're only thinking, well, my only solutions are this or that, I would open up to more solutions. Again, you're watching tarot because this hasn't happened yet. So, you know, people always accuse me of being too positive. But I'm like, well, tarot isn't positive or negative. And that just tells me that you're putting, giving way too much power to tarot in the first place if you're saying that it's positive or negative. But uh, on top of that, the tower, you're watching this so you can avoid it. <laughs> that, that should be the whole point so that you work with the energy. Tarot is about working with the energy it's not about me saying like oh your life is a pi steaming pile of crap because you have the uh tower card deal with it right um so what i would say here is that i feel the tower uh could be avoided I again if you find yourself in these moments where you're like stuck or not sure what to do i would just do your research literally i would just go learn something new about wherever you feel stuck or where wherever you feel like you're not moving forward but you have the skills is what the nine of pentacles says to me the nine of pentacles she has these grapes behind her and grapes in the tarot represent something that requires a lot of skill to grow uh, in real life, <laughs> you know, not in the tarot. Grapes re require specific skills and like specific conditions to grow well. So the card itself says that she is getting this abundance because she has a skill, but she's only a nine of pentacles. And again, that's really popping out to me here. It's almost like this reading is saying like, are you underselling yourself or where are you underselling yourself? Where are you not... Um, you know, getting what you deserve, right? And this, I, I don't know. <laughs> this could be in any area of your life, Pisces. For a lot of you, I do feel it's financial, where it's like your skills are up here, but it's almost like your pay is down here. And I feel there's something you could do, probably, probably a big opportunity right here that's coming in for you that uh, will kind of cause you to stretch and grow for sure. The reason I say that is because we go five wands tower to the devil. Uh, this to me looks like an opportunity where, like a typical Pisces opportunity, I would say, a Pisces opportunity is like something where it's like you kind of want it, but it's like you're not sure if you want to commit to it right now. I think Pisces does best. You know, I'm a Pisces, so I totally get it. <laughs> but I think Pisces does best when um, they have some time to maybe think about an opportunity and then know, you know, have that Pisces knowing. But this is almost popping into my head as an opportunity that's entering into your life where it's like you don't, it's almost as if you can't know uh, how it's going to turn out first. Like you're just going to have to accept it you know, into your life, or you're just going to have to say yes, if you want it. So let's see if we can get more details on this here, Pisces, and see what's going on. With the two of swords, you have the seven of swords here. Seven of swords, lying, cheating, stealing. But again, seven of swords really is a card of tactics. And you know, the two of swords is only thinking two ways of doing things when there are many ways to do things. And the Seven of Swords encourages you to be tactical. It says that, you know, the, normally the guy on that card is stealing the swords from the army in the background. It says there are better ways to do things. With the Nine of Pentacles, are you kidding? <laughs> you have the Ten of Pentacles. Major focus for you, Pisces. You are definitely one of the signs. There are a few, not too many, but a few that I think are really, really focused on building and leaving a legacy. I would say this boils down to security, but it's a certain type of security. It's security in life where you feel more free. 
You know, it's like there there are you can feel secure in a prison. Really, you are secure in a prison technically, but you wouldn't feel very free, right? So, you know, what I would say here with the um, Ten of Pentacles is that you know it's more like a certain type of freedom it could be like financial freedom. It could be freedom of you have a family and you have a secure family life. You know, it could be any of those things. And you are definitely one of the signs I think you know, has this in the back of your mind as something that you would like to have in your life. And yeah, it definitely looks really good to me. With the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Ace, uh, the uh, Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is quick success. I kind of feel this is you chasing an aha moment going that way right there. Uh, we're going to have to see what comes up when we clarify this row, although it's not looking too bad. You have that Prosperity Lies Ahead card. Yeah, you have the Tower and the Five of Wands, you know, which could be some sort of conflict or someone trying to throw you off your off the scent is actually what I'm hearing here. But um, it looks like, again, your outcome looks horrible in the best way possible because <laughs> you have the Devil Nine of Swords and the Five of Swords, but it's coming up in the area of the good stuff. It's almost like you're conquering a devil. Um, this doesn't have to be a person. It could just be personal demons or things that have been holding you back. Uh, next, you have this uh, Prosperity Lies Ahead card. Um, this is coming up in what's coming towards you. And you have this super moon that says emotions are running high. I would definitely watch your emotions and um, you know try to maintain uh, control over your emotions. And being in control of your emotions does not mean that you don't express your emotions. It just means that you're in control of your emotions, that you feel your feelings, and um, then you know you express them in healthy ways. And so. You know, that's what I feel like this is talking about here. Even anger, right? It's like, I think anger is healthy. I think that we feel feelings for a reason, even anger. <laughs> so it's like, if you feel it and you express it in a healthy way, then there's nothing wrong with that, right? Uh, also, I definitely see prosperity here. So a lot of prosperity. You have the Knight of Cups, the Five of Wands, Tower, and the King of Swords. Knight of Cups is like a knight in shining armor. So I do feel there could be a knight in shining armor coming in for you if you want love. Um, you know, definitely a very solid person. Could be a water sign or earth sign, but again, take it how it resonates. Could be any sign. You have basically everything here. You've been getting like everything with me anyway, just in general. You've been getting pretty much all the signs. So, you know, that wouldn't surprise me either. Uh, I also feel that for some of you, it's time to start planting seeds because you end with that six of pentacles. The king, uh, sorry, the knight of cups here, he's standing in front of this water, and, but he's standing in the desert. And this is a card of the times, right? I believe that right now as a collective, we are just in this energy where it looks like there are no resources to get the things that we want. But really, if we just start planting the seeds, they will grow. And it's almost like we can create our own oasis in the desert. And that's what I would encourage you to do here, Pisces, is that there's water in the desert here, on this card, if you just plant seeds, if you just take steps to work towards his ideas, they will grow. Six of Pentacles is literally the card of planting seeds. And clearly you're like a master gardener. You have the Nine of Pentacles. You have the Five of Wands in the tower. Um, this does feel like some sort of conflict or competition or something like that here. I would be careful if you had a liar, cheater, stealer in your energy, you know, this way here, even this way here to the devil. You know, this could be a person trying to communicate who was the devil uh, or who was a liar, cheater, stealer, or something like that. I would be careful of that. They could be trying to cause a tower moment. Uh, in all honesty, I need to get more details on this tower because I'm not exactly sure uh, where it's going, you know, yet. Uh, you have the King of Swords. You do have the King of Swords though, which is law and order. So again, if you're dealing with something, uh, you know, with a person legally or anything like that, uh, this could be law and order coming into your life. The King of Swords also can just represent a mentor. You know, it says that if you're dealing with something, it doesn't even have to be legal or anything like that. But if you're dealing with anything in your life, this card can say, you know, that there are people who will help you or there are people who can guide you. And so allow people to guide you at this time so that you don't run into problems so that you can be successful and, you know, all that other stuff. But, you know, I kind of feel like this is like an aha moment more than anything, this tower. Again, I am gonna pull, I'm actually gonna pull two cards in that position just to see but it kind of gives me like i'm surprised judgment hasn't shown up because um it kind of gives me the vibes of a, a like a more of a revelation and to me tower and judgment is a revelation with the knight of cups you have the four pentacles yeah four pentacles is about leaving comfort zone and holding on too tightly to things i and i do feel we need to like open up to new opportunities i, I feel like it's kind of obvious that energy uh, with the five of wands, are you getting? You have the tower again. <laughs> so definitely, could be, I'm going to pull two more cards. Uh, you have the tower, which is basically the universe saying I meant what I said. You have the hangman here, and you have the six of pentacles. 
So, you know, The Hangman is about seeing things from a new perspective. Some of you I'm getting could have had a tower moment here, like in the past, breakup, separation, could be anything. And it's like, you could be getting clarity on the situation with The Hangman and the Six of Pentacles. Um, you know, it could be from this person, from a person, or it could just be from, you know, whatever, <laughs> something you see on social media or whatever. But I do kind of have that popping into my head that some of you, it's like, you could be seeing something, um, you know, you could be seeing something that is is almost like a truth and it could be causing a tower moment you know it, more that, that you're getting the truth and you know maybe it hurts so i'd be careful of that with the king of swords you have the eight of cups yeah some of you are definitely walking away from things that no longer serve you cutting things out right and it's interesting that you go from the three of swords nine of pentacles being independent ten of pentacles taking care of yourself to the king of swords like just uh cutting things off right it's like i feel you're in this position of you know cutting things out of your life that no longer serve you uh, at the end here for the good stuff, you have the Queen of Pentacles, and I'm using Mega Deck here. If you don't know what Mega Deck is, it's a combination of three decks uh, together, and you have this Six of Pentacles. So clearly increasing your resources. Again, I'm really not worried about that tower uh, going on there. The only thing, the only worry that I have for the tower is like a past person coming back or, you know, a past person trying to cause a tower moment in your life. So make sure to protect yourself and make sure to take care of yourself so that that doesn't happen. But, you know, it looks to me like if you focus on your resources and planting seeds in the right direction, that you will be overcoming that. I honestly feel that you are overcoming this once and for all. Um, so again, if you've been in a repeat cycle, you know, this right here, <laughs> Nine of Swords is a never ending nightmare. Uh, Nine of Swords is kind of like a round and round situation. And, um, you know, coming up in the good stuff, I would say that you are ending a round and round situation. The devil is a toxic energy. And, um, but again, the devil doesn't have to be that bad. And again, in the area of the good stuff, it really could just be that you're getting to work. Again, we do have Saturn and Pisces. It's going to be entering into the second deacon of Pisces as well. And uh, yeah, I, I just think that, you know, you're used to it now. You've, you've, you've had Saturn there for almost a year and now you probably know that you need to get to work on your dreams. The devil energy sometimes I feel like is about bringing energy from your root chakra, like up to your head, like expressing something into the world. And it's definitely time for you uh, to express something like good into the world. You have the five of swords and the five of swords is about taking a risk. Um, so I kind of feel it is time for you to take a risk. Again, this is coming up in the area of the good stuff. I also just feel that this could be a shocking change, Pisces. <laughs> you know, this kind of gives me the vibes, like I said, of a revelation, knowing that you need to make some sort of shocking change in your life. And it's like, sometimes we have to do that, um, where, you know, maybe people don't understand why we're making the change or like what we're doing, but it's like, sometimes we just have to mix it up, right? And I kind of see some of you doing that. Uh, with the devil, you have the nine of swords and the four of cups. Yes, I feel like you're looking for more fulfilling opportunities. I really like uh, this four of cups because there's three cups pouring into one cup there, as you can see. And it's like a very fulfilling energy. It's like total fulfillment coming in for you here. Uh, the nine of swords again says that you are ending, I feel like you're ending a toxic cycle with this nine of swords. Again, it is coming up in the area of the good stuff. With the Knight of Swords, you have the Six of Swords. Yes, moving on to Commerce Shores. Really, again, I feel like you're moving towards improvements. I feel like there's nothing to worry about here, even with the Tower. Uh, you know, the Tower twice is just the universe saying I meant what I said. And I feel this could be more of you waking, having, you know, kind of like waking up to the fact that you need to move on. Um, the Six of Swords, the woman and the child in this boat, they are completely moving on to Commerce Shores. You know, they're completely letting go of their past and moving on to hopefully a brighter future. And I feel a lot of you kind of are doing that. Uh, with the Five of Swords, you have the Queen of Pentacles. You know, just repeating cards here. Queen of Pentacles is about being resourceful and increasing your resources. I do feel like whatever direction you're moving in here, as always, Pisces, I feel like it doesn't make sense to people in your life, but um, I also feel at the same time that it makes sense to you and you're probably seeing results. So, you know, let's say like you decide, oh, that you're gonna quit your job and go get something completely different. It's like your boss might not like that idea, but you know, I don't know, I see you kind of like knowing that something better is coming in for you. Definitely a lot of prosperity here. We're pulling five main themes with the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. You have this defense card. I would definitely protect yourself from a past person here. It looks to me like there's a past person who is either trying to cause problems for you or, um, you know, is trying to get back at you or something like that. So I would definitely be careful of that. And yeah, the retrograde's over on the first, but you know, that energy lingers. So I would definitely be careful of that. And again, I don't think you really have to defend yourself. I feel like it's just saying put up boundaries, right? 
Uh, you have this optimism card. Yeah, a lot of reasons to be optimistic. You're glowing. I feel like you're kind of like having some glow ups. You're getting, you know, that taste of the good life is what it looks like to me with the nine of pentacles and the 10 of pentacles. It's kind of weird because it's like popping into my head that it's not something huge. You know, it's not like going to be like a million dollars in your bank account or something like that. It's more like a tiny little thing, but I feel like it's very motivational for you or it will motivate you significantly. So I would grab onto it, whatever it is. And, uh, you know, I feel there's a lot of reasons to be happy about it. Uh, you have this innovation card. Yeah, very innovative time for you. And again, that could be why we see the tower, believe it or not, because with the tower, again, you could come up with an innovative idea and you could be causing a tower moment. And it, a tower moment could just be you letting something die and moving on to something else. Six of swords, right? A tower could be you've been working on a project. It's just not working. You decide you're going to completely do a 360 and do something else, right? That this it, That's more what I'm getting from this reading. It's more of like a shocking change, like a complete turnaround, you know, type of energy. So again, I don't think this reading's bad at all. Uh, you have this impulsiveness card. And if anything, you're cleaning up a bunch of toxic energy at the end, right? Uh, you have this impulsiveness energy. I feel like people are saying you're impulsive. I feel like people haven't been in your head for like the last 20 years, Pisces. <laughs> you know, that's the thing is like mentally, I feel like you have been preparing for something for a very long period of time. So it's like to the outside world, I've been saying this to you for weeks that people are gonna criticize you and you just need to turn it off because people, I feel, they're, they don't know what you have been like preparing for. Uh, you have this convention card. Yeah, I definitely feel it's time to break free from convention. So don't be afraid to innovate. But you know, I feel like this reading is pretty simple. I think it's saying glow up have a glow up, create a glow up in your life and uh, you could be moving in a new direction, but pretty interesting here, Pisces. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your January.